Okay, uh, hello. Good afternoon. So, thank you very much for uh, coming for this talk. Uh, actually, uh, okay, be honest, I, I'm not in the good condition right now. Okay, I'm having flu. Okay, so uh, please bear with me. My voice is a bit weird. Okay, but I'll try my best to present. Okay, so today uh, this topic in phase therapy for plant disease control. Okay, basically, uh, I am not sure. Uh, you know what is phage? Anybody knows about phage? It's a it's a one type of virus. You know? Okay, phage is a virus which attack the bacteria. So we call it as a bacterial phage. Commonly, uh, it is a natural existing in our natural ecosystem. So this is. Talking about phage, I think everybody's talking about virus. Everybody's scared because it's a disease. But this virus is a good virus. Okay, so uh, we use this phage as a bio control agent. It's a one of the green technology for curing the prevention of the disease in plant. So basically, we have two type of phage. It's a lytic or lysogenic. These two is usually uh, for phage infection. That means usually lytic phage is the suitable as a candidate to control the disease. So uh, basically, this technology is uh, we use in the animal. That means animal and human disease control. Let's say, uh, for example, we sick because we been uh, attacked by bacteria infection. Let's say. Uh, your, you got sore throat and so on, right? So usually some people, they got resistant towards the antibiotic. So this is the alternative to replace the antibiotic. Because let's say you use many, type, many, many times of antibiotics, so they will produce the resistance against that kind of antibiotic. But this phase is very specific. That means they won't... Uh, they won't cause the resistance to the human or whatever. So it's a safe to human being. Uh, the lytic phage can be quickly reproduced within the viron uh, in the host. For example, one parent phage, okay, this phage or virus phage, they attack one bacteria. So from there, they can produce about 200 daughters. So you imagine, after one cycle, uh, after one cycle, you got 200. After second cycle, you got 40,000 40, of the progeny. And for about uh, 8 million for third cycle and also, and so on, so on. So we use this basic concept to control the disease outbreak in the plant. For example, you see like a uh, dieback, you know, the outbreak in papaya. Uh, so far, recently, like uh, if caused by bacteria, euvenia, and so on. So this is a new technology that we invest to as a green. That means we are not using the chemical, so we use the uh, microorganism to be a substitute or to alternative to the chemical pesticide. <coughs> so this is a easy life cycle of the phage. So you can see uh, this is when the bacteria, when the phage attack the specific bacteria because every bacteria they got a different receptor. So that's why it's very specific. So when they enter on the surface of the bacteria okay so you see here this is the phage so when they 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 enter here so they will inject the dna disrupting the genome inside here instead of the bacteria to produce its own dna so they have to take over to synthesize the phage dna so slowly they will produce a lot of DNA here and the protein code will be produced and then they capture inside here. So from here they got about 200 daughters of the progeny. Then all this they produce enzyme, lysis enzyme 
to break the cell and then they will come out. So from, from the first cycle, we have got about 200 daughters of the phages. So this is very, uh, how to say, promising research because uh, we can get rid of a lot of problem not using the chemical pesticide. So, but however, this is, uh, I suggest to be prevention, right? It's, it is not the chemical that you use today, then you will see the result tomorrow. But it's uh, because talk, dealing with the microorganism, it takes some time to dominate the area and so on. Okay? Fish as a therapeutic response. Why we use fish as a therapeutic response? Because in terms of issue, let's say for drug, the metabolic disruptions of the molecule when we use the antibiotics. But then let's say you're using the fish, they can uh, more itself, that means they can infect the bacteria itself and also they, the drug exponential growth number so that the drug more of itself inside the uh, inside the infection. That means <coughs> they are more specific. Secondly, the concentration concentrations of the drug to kill the bacteria within the spectrum. Let's say you use the antibiotics. You need a lot of antibiotics to kill the bacteria. But this one is only one phase of sufficient to kill. Let's say from the first cycle, you produce 200 uh, progeny. From the 200, they were searching for the other pathogen. So by itself, it can replicate by itself slowly slowly that means you keep on going produce the phage to attack the bacteria okay <clears throat> and also they will not produce the resistance against the uh, bacteria because they are very specific so that only the specific let's say the phage a they only attack the bacteria a and they won't attack bacteria B or C or D because every bacteria, they got different receptor. Okay, it seems like our, our lock and the key is matched to each other. This is the same concept that we use. Okay. So actually, uh, bacterial fish was first found in the plant uh, since 1924. That mean uh, when they, they found the filtrate of the compost cabbage can inhibit growth of the cabbage root organism, Xanthomonas capestri. So this is how they accidentally found out these phages. So in 1924, uh, more proceed that the phage may be utilized as an agent for controlling the <coughs> potato tuber rot caused by Irvinia carotowara and they do the seed treatment in the corn so here I list a few a few uh, fish therapy in different type of plant as you can see the host The whole cell, okay, you see, this is uh, cabbage, disease, black rot, xanthomonas, capestri. That means this is kala lily, bacteria, soft rot, caused by Irvinia carotowara. Citrus, citrus canker, xanthomonas, citri, subspecies citri. Chili, bacteria wilt, caused by Restonia solanacerum, dragon fruit, black rot, xanthomonas, capestri, mung bean, and so on. That means all these lists, we uh, they already have the fish again. All these type of disease currently. So uh, this work that means this is some of like mushroom. So we they already have the fish again. This all type of pathogen. So currently for our work in uh, Malaysia. So we we uh, uh, research have been carried out on the potato on the tomato 
tomato on the bacteria wilt disease and also the dragon fruit Xanthomonas capestri. Okay, this is the product development uh, collaboration research with All Cosmos between All Cosmos and Mardi. So uh, we develop a smart fertilizer. So this fertilizer with four components is a uh, standard MPK and then organic slow release in uh, nutrient and improve the soil structure. So we have also the effective microbe. And we add on another component is a phage for the prevention and disease control. Let's say, because as I mentioned just now, phage very specific. So uh, the fertilizer A, we let's say this fertilizer against the bacteria will caused by Restonia solanacerum. So we will put the cocktail of the phages inside fertilizer A. And then another product, we also let's say again the drag tricoderm uh, sorry the dragon fruit for xanthomonas so we will put the fish inside the uh, fertilizer and then we may have the product that is a cocktail that mean it's a broader range of the phages so that if let's say we apply the fertilizer together so it's a prevention at that location so that uh, it, so that the disease will be is a like safeguard is a area where is a prevention. Uh, that means you you must understand that um, this is not a how to say it, this is not um this treatment. This is more towards the prevention because let's say the 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 disease already. I mean already spread all over the land or whatever if you want to use the fish to control that particular land is a bit hard so to be frank with you prevention is better than treatment okay so this is the product that we develop so this is the tomato study that we have uh, carried out so from here we have three treatment so fertilizer from the all cosmos plus the fish cocktail. Second T2 is fertilizer from all cosmos alone and T3 is a commercial fertilizer. So from here you can see the disease scoring. Okay. From here you can see that T3, the disease scoring is higher than T1. And after 12 weeks also can see with the treatment the disease scoring is at the very little or lower than not the severe case okay so this is the product that we apply to the tomato plant and then this is some photo showing that this is the bacteria the tomato this is the with bacteria wilt disease so at the same time, because this fertilizer also got the standard MPK and also EM, in terms of the root formulation also, you can see T1 is much more better than D3. Okay. Okay, another research that we carry out is on dragon fruit. <coughs> so this is also another that we carry out in uh, Sungai Bagen in Pahang. So from here also we can see some differences but for this one because the xanthomonas they happen to be have a they attack at the trunk part that mean okay this one you can see this treatment without phage that mean you can see all like rotted that mean all like watery and so on so after we spray this one we using sprayings because if you apply through fertilizer down, that means it takes time to go up. So this one we apply both using fertilizer, incorporate the fish, and also we spray. So from here we can see it's not that means it's become dry up, not like watery like without the fish. See some we can find out from here. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, so this is our smart fertilizer. So 
Uh, this is the future product. So actually, now we are at the process of pre-commercialization. So we will produce a smart fertilizer. So, uh, so in future, we are working on more commercial value crop. For example, on uh, Gano and so on. So we will produce more and more fertilizer, which have the potential as a prevention on the disease control. Okay. Okay, so thank you very much.